Now we will see Bayer Moore string matching algorithm. Already you have learned Herzpool algorithm. No doubt Herzpool is efficient algorithm and here you are minimizing the number of comparisons by using the shift table and instead of shifting the pattern by one character length you are shifting based on the shift table you are shifting the pattern towards the right so with this you are minimizing the number of comparisons so this is an example for both Bayer-Mori and Herzpool algorithm or example for input enhancement here you are adding additional information to the pattern so based on the shift value of the pattern you are shifting the pattern towards the right okay but there is some limitation with Herzpool algorithm that is addressed by Bayer Mori take this example here in this three character is being already matched and this character C which is not there in the pattern some character C which is not there in the pattern is matched here so when the mismatch occurs and that character is not at all there in the pattern then you are required to shift by its entire length that you have done this for this Herzpool algorithm is okay but the same scenario when you apply for this pattern here look at C is not a character of the pattern here when this is the case what you will do you will be even though these two characters is being matched you will be shifting by its entire length so this is what the Herzpool algorithm is here Herzpool algorithm fails to find the pattern a b c b a b even though it is there in the text so in order to address this scenario look at here so because here a b c b a b is the pattern you are searching in the given text here a b is prefix and it is also suffix when you have like this prefix and suffix in the pattern you are required to use good suffix table so good suffix table you can find like this uh, based on this you are required to shift the pattern so this is the distance or number of characters you are required to shift towards the right we'll see here b a b so what is the shift value it is equal to 2 and a b a b 1 2 3 4 4 is the shift value and for b a b it is again 4 because you don't have b a b but you can match with a b this suffix can be matched with this prefix how many character length two character length but three characters is being already matched so in this case with what length you are required to shift by four character length and here four character length and here also four character length even though the number of characters being matched here is five and the, this character when it is not matched then you can still match this suffix with this prefix so in, in this case you are required to shift by four character length so we'll see the algorithm so this is based on two ideas compare pattern characters to text from right to left and pre-compute shift sizes in two tables one is bad symbol table and the other one is good suffix table bad symbol table that already you have learnt in Herzpool algorithm that is it indicates how much to shift based on text character causing a mismatch good suffix table indicates how much to shift based on matched part of the pattern advantage of the periodic structure of the pattern okay so this is by taking the advantage of the periodic structure of the pattern you are <coughs> required to calculate the uh, value for this suffix uh, prefix and suffix that is stored in the good suffix table now we'll see the algorithm first fill fill in the bad symbol shift table then second step is you are required to fill in good suffix shift table then align the pattern against the beginning of the text repeat until a matching substring is found or text ends so these things is to be repeated till 
you find the substring or text ends. So compare the corresponding characters left to right. If no characters match, retrieve entry T1C from the bad symbol table for the text character C causing the mismatch and shift the pattern to the right by T1C. If 0 less than K less than M characters are matched, that is if K number of characters are matched and it is greater than 0 and less than M. So when it is less than M, obviously you cannot say it is a successful search. And uh, more than one character is, when more than one character is being matched, then retrieve entry T1C from the bad symbol table for the character C causing the mismatch and entry D to K. Okay, so from the good suffix table and shift the pattern to the right by D equal to max D1 comma D2. So how do you find D1? D1 equal to max of T1C minus k comma 1 okay whichever is maximum that is k is the number of characters being matched and t1c is nothing but shift value for the character c shift value of c subtract here k that is k is the number of characters being matched so whichever is being maximum that is assigned to d1 then d2k is good suffix shift okay. so next we'll see the algorithm uh, we'll apply for this uh, <coughs> example so again b a o b a b already uh, you have seen in the her school algorithm how to generate the shift table that you have done so only thing is uh, you are required to generate one more information that is good suffix table that you are required to generate. So here it is being generated here. B for B again it is appearing here. So two character length you are required to shift towards right. And AB, AB is not at all a pattern here that is it is a suffix but it is not appearing as the prefix but only one character is again repeating what is that B. So, for that you are required to shift by 5 character length, again B, A, B, 5 character and O, even though these 4 characters is being matched, but you are required to shift by 5 character length only and here again. So, even though these 5 characters is being matched and if the, if, if the text character here matched, it is not matched with B then you are required to shift by 5 character length. So first you are required to compute this good suffix table. So once you have found good suffix table and bad symbol table then you can apply Bayer Mori algorithm. So this is the text given to you. So once you have given this text now compare now align this pattern with the text character here so k is not matched now since the number of characters being matched is zero straight away you can see the k shift value for k in the bad symbol table that is equal to six so with what length you are required to shift here when you have shifted two characters is being matched and the third one is not matched <coughs> when the two characters is being matched and underscore look at for underscore it is 6 is the value shift value okay so how do you calculate d1 d1 equal to 6 for uh, shift value of underscore is 6 minus 2 is 4 then d2 value you are required to find out so how do you find d2 d2 is nothing but look at it's equal to 5 that means when two characters d2 is nothing but two characters is being matched here in this case you have to shift by five character length okay then again here three if the three characters is being matched you have to shift by five character length okay so now d1 equal to 5 d2 
d2 sorry d1 equal to 4 here and d2 of 2 characters is being matched so here you have to shift by 5 characters length ok so which is maximum here 4 5 so 5 is maximum you have to shift this pattern by 5 character length so shift it by 5 character length now the text aligned here so when you shift like this uh, this is matched and this is not being matched here again for underscore look at the shift value here it is equal to 6 6 minus 1 number of characters being matched is 1 6 minus 1 is 5 then d2 how do you find the d2 here one character is being matched when one character is being matched d2 of one is nothing but two okay so here which is maximum here two and five so five is maximum so you are required to shift the pattern by five character length so when you shift it like this the pattern will be now start comparing from left to right sorry right to left all the characters is being matched now this is the example for successful search and written this index where you found the pattern so i'll repeat it once again here in good suffix table so look at one character is being matched that is p so in what way you have to shift that is d2 of 1 when only one character is being matched what is the shift length it is equal to 2 here two characters is being matched that is d2 of 2 is nothing but you are required to shift by 5 character so here 3 characters is being matched that is d2 of 3 is 5 what is d2 of 4 4 is also 5 and d2 of 5 is also 5 so that means this it is bold it is done bold here look at here that is one character is being matched d2 of 1 is 2 d2 of 2 is 5 d2 of 3 characters is being matched is 5 d2 of 4 characters matched is 5 and d2 of 5 characters matched is you are required to shift by 5 character length so this is an example for input enhancement because here you are adding two more information that is good suffix table and bad symbol table for given pattern you are finding based on this values that is whichever is maximum d1 is based on bad symbol table and d2 is based on good suffix table so if d1 is maximum then you are shifting it by d1 character length or otherwise d2 character length this is all about string matching algorithm Herspool and Barmore. so both are efficient compared to brute force string matching algorithm because here you are minimizing the number of comparisons so with less number of comparisons you can find a given pattern in a given text so this is efficient algorithm compared to brute force thank you